So normally when I make Laravel apps, I use Laravel Breeze as the starter kit. But recently I used Jetstream for the first time that wasn't just for a demo or a trial or a blog post or something. And one thing that bothers me, which should not because it's not a big deal, is the tests. Jetstream publishes all these tests that are very useful to make sure that all the Jetstream features are still working and they're very fast. So it should not be annoying to me, but for some reason it's annoying. So what I wanted to do was make it so that those tests run in continuous integration, but they don't run when I'm doing my normal testing every single time I rerun my code. I was originally thinking that I was gonna use groups because I know how to do things like exclude group or everything like that in PHP unit, but it turns out there's another way. And just to note, this particular application is using PEST, which makes it a tiny bit easier, but all of this can be done in PEST or in PHP unit. So the first thing I had to do was move all of those tests out of the feature directory into a new directory called Jetstream. So we go to our test directory, and of course we could do this on the command line, but I just want this to be very visual. So new directory called Jetstream. We're gonna move all of our tests out of there, and this is assuming you haven't created your own feature tests yet. We move them into the Jetstream directory. So now if we run our tests, the only test we'll see run is a unit test. Let's fix that. phpunit.xml is the configuration file for PHP unit. And even if you're using PEST, PEST is a layer on top of PHP unit, so you can still configure things here. So as you can see, for each of those directories, unit tests and feature tests, we're attaching them to a test suite, which is sort of like a high level organizational entity in PHP unit. So let's create a new test suite for Jetstream. Now, when we go back and rerun our tests, we'll see them all run again. However, because we're using PEST, there's one thing we need to update here that you wouldn't have to do in PHP unit. However, if you were in PHP unit, you'd have to go through all those files and change their namespace to be tests slash jetstream instead of tests slash feature. What we need to do in PEST is to go to the uh, tests slash pest.php configuration file. And you can see in here, it's loading that all of the tests in this feature directory are gonna use the test class or the test case class, and I'm gonna pull in the refresh database trait. So of course, our Jetstream tests also need that. And now that they're not in the feature directory, we have to explicitly attach it there. We go back and run our tests again, everything's gonna be green again. Now we have the opportunity to define that specific test suites can run or not be run every time we run our tests. So we run PHP artisan test, test suite, unit, you get just the unit tests. If you say unit comma feature, if we had any feature tests, you get both of those. You can also say exclude test suite. So unit comma feature is the same as running exclude test suite Jetstream. And this is what I was looking for in the first place, the ability to exclude just the Jetstream tests. But the problem is what I really want is for them to be excluded by default and only be included when I ask for them. Enter something that I learned from Keith Damiani at Titan when I came up with a more complex solution using groups and Keith found this for me. If you go back to phpunit.xml, you can add a new property to this high level PHP unit object called default test suite. And if you pass in unit comma feature here, and then run artisan test, you will see that exact same output as when we were only passing in unit comma feature to that test suite parameter. So now at this point, anytime I run my tests, I will only run those two unit and feature However, if I ever want to run all of them, for example, in continuous integration, I still can. Unit, comma, feature, comma, Jetstream. So there you go. You have taken all your Jetstream tests, you've separated them out, you can run them or not run them independently, and even if you don't want to ignore them like I do in certain contexts, you now have more control over them and have a better sense for how PHP unit and PEST are natively loading all these tests in the first place. Hope it helps you out.